What is going on everybody? This is Bronco Juggalo and I am coming to you today with a review I have been waiting a long time to do. This is Todd Sheets 2019 film Clownado. The first thing I want to say is thank you very much Wild Eye for sending me Clownado to review for everybody. The second thing I want to say is thank you very much Todd Sheets for the invitation to go to this premiere. Unfortunately, I was not able to make that premiere. It would have been a blast to do so, but I still got invited and that touched me nonetheless. Now, as I said, this was directed by Todd Sheets, who is a great director for the underground horror scene. He's been at it for over 20 some years and he is absolutely amazing, awesome director. Now, this movie stars John O'Hare as Big Ronnie. It stars Rachel Lagan, I believe that's how you say it. If not, I apologize, as Savannah. And it stars Linnea Quigley as Spider. Now, we all know who Linnea Quigley is. She is a big name in horror, in the underground horror scene especially. And her character Spider that she plays in this movie is the exact same character from the movie Slimeball Bolarama. Her story is that a group of sadistic circus clowns have been cursed by a witch who has confined them as demonic forces inside of a tornado. Now they are wreaking havoc across the Midwest. It sounds silly, doesn't it? But you know what? This is one hell of a good movie, I'm telling you. This is a movie, guys, that I really, really enjoyed. Everything about this movie was so cool. I only have one con, and honestly, I just put this con in because it was kind of funny to me, and I had nothing else to say, and I thought it needed something, you know? Um, the only con I have is that Hawk is not a very badass-looking dude. He's talked up to be this big badass, and he doesn't look like a big badass. That's the only con I got, Todd, and everybody else watching this review. Uh, Todd Sheets did an amazing job on this film, guys. Uh, this movie is so fucking good. I'm telling you right now, go out and pick up Clownado from Wild Eye. You will not regret it. If you like slashers, you won't regret it. If you like demonic films, you won't regret it. If you like clown films, you won't regret it. And if you just like good old-fashioned, gruesome as hell horror, you will not regret it. This movie is so gory and so gruesome, it almost made my wife throw up. That's how gory it is. That is really cool. You know what? We might as well start at the beginning. That's where we're going to start with our pros. We're going to start at the beginning. We're going to end at the end. Um, Pro-wise, first thing I noticed about this movie, first thing I liked was the opening credit scenes. Uh, just really cool, really entertaining. Love all the different footages of clowns. Really awesome. In fact, the only thing that could have made that scene or this entire movie better was to have ICP do a cameo. Come on, man. Killer Clowns and St. Clown Posse. Throw them in there next time, Todd. Clownado 2. Get them on for a cameo, I'm telling you. Get me in there. I'll do it. I'll paint up, dude. I'll make a funny as hell clown. <laughs> the second thing I noticed right off the bat that I really liked about this movie was the acting. Okay, as my boy Jason says, sometimes you have a trade-off with independent films. Sometimes you'll have really good acting and really bad effects. Sometimes you'll have really good effects and really bad acting. In this one, the acting was on point. I don't know the names of most of the people in this movie, but I think I'm going to learn them because they did a really good job. Now, there were a few people in this movie that were also in Bone Hill Road, and I thought they did an awesome job. And I like Bone Hill Road as well, too. There was some bad acting in Bone Hill Road, but for the most part, it was decent. This one had good acting pretty much all the way around. I really, really enjoyed the acting in this film especially from our main clown, John O'Hare. This is a guy, Juggalos. If you're watching, this is for my Juggalos. You're going to like this fool. He is a sadistic, wicked fucking clown. I would like to see this guy play the Joker. Uh, that's just my opinion. I think he would make a good Joker. The next thing I want to discuss is the gore and the practical effects. All the gore effects were practical, and they all look amazing. Like I said, it's so gross. It made my wife almost hurl. Okay, I only had it on for 10 fucking seconds. And she was like telling me, turn it off. I'm trying to eat. That's gross. I'm going to throw up. And I was like, are you kidding me? That's awesome. And then she proceeded to tell me I was a freaking weirdo for liking shit like that. 
I was like, yep, I'm a weirdo, and I like it. It's awesome. One of my favorite parts of this film is there is an Elvis impersonator, guys. I fucking love Elvis, and I love Elvis impersonators. I just thought it was so awesome that they had an Elvis impersonator in this movie. The tornado CGI, for the most part, was kind of low budget looking, but it looked good for what they had to work with. I think they did a pretty decent job with it. Uh, I was actually kind of impressed with the job they did. Now, is it some great CGI, you know, Hollywood, $200 million budget bullshit? No. This is something they did on a tight budget, and I think they did a hell of a job with what they had. This big pro for me here is, yes, this movie has a silly premise, but it is fun. It's awesomely gory. It's awesomely entertaining. And this is probably one of the best clown flicks I've seen in the last few years. And I've watched a lot of clown movies lately, including the new It. And I'm not shitting on that movie. I think it's a okay film. At least the first one was. I haven't watched the second part yet. But you know my thoughts and feelings on it. Most of you guys have watched my channel. And I like the clowns in this better than I like the clowns in It. I thought they were scarier too. They were scarier. They were more fun. They were more sadistic. Don't get me wrong. Bill Skarsgård makes an excellent clown. But these guys really could have shown everybody a thing or two. I love the humor in this movie. Now, come on, this is a movie called Clownado. There's going to be some humor in this. This is not a to be taken seriously, hereditary, or Halloween type of a film. This is a really good horror film. It's a good, fun, comedic horror film. And I like that about this movie. It is very self-aware. It knows what it is. It doesn't try to be anything but exactly what it is. And the humor is great. And it leads me to one of my favorite kills in the movie. It's not a very gory, gory kill, but it's really funny. One of the clowns, I'm not going to say which because it will spoil things, gets shot. His head explodes into confetti. I love that. I love that they did that little bit of mix of like some killer clowns from outer space type of deal in there. I like that the clowns are sadistic killers that kill with knives and things like that. But they also have demonic powers, and they use their demonic energies to kill. I love all of that, man. They are so good. This movie was so much fun. This one gets my highest recommendation, guys. I am not even kidding. This is a very high recommend from me. And we're going to end the pro section with my final pro that I had in the movie. The final thing I noticed in the closing credits, the original song... For this movie, I really enjoyed it. It had like a 90s alternative chick rock thing, and I thought it was really good. The whole movie has good music throughout, and the music is all original from what I understand. And I think they did a really good job. Todd Sheets' directing is really good. The special effects, the practical effects, and the gore is so good. Everything about this movie is good, guys. I like this movie. If you do not like Clownado, if you think this movie is stupid, or you think that it's badly done or anything like that, then I'm sorry, but you just have a big old stick shoved so far up your ass, it's fucked up your sense. And I'm sorry, but most of the reviews I saw as well were really good, and I'm going to add right to it. This is a good, fun film. Todd Sheets, you hit it out of the park again, my friend. Thank you very much for an awesome movie. Thank you, Wild Eye, for sending me an awesome movie. And thank you to everybody out there who's watching. Thank you also to my Patreons. Thank you guys so much. You guys are awesome, and I'm so glad and happy to have you as Patreons. For everybody else out there, if you haven't checked out my Patreon, go and check it out. Come and join the horror mob. Tell me you want to be made, and I'll make it happen. You ain't got to worry about nothing when I'm your Don. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, guys, this is Bronco Joe saying, have a great night, and adios, amigos.
fucking mind! Got some business to figure out. <laughs> this is bullshit. <laughs> If you can, <laughs> you're not afraid of the dark, are you? I know something you don't. I lost my dolly. Will you help me find her? 